All right, this is the tower. We have gone over it pretty thoroughly, changed all the piping, checked out the electrical, changed out most of the O-rings because she's sleek like a sieve. Now, on the bottom, there are the nozzles and the diffusers. Now, they didn't come with any of them on there. I did manage to find four second-hand nozzles and three diffusers. There's no diffuser inside this. The diffuser is that thing. So, they're on their way from Lancer. I've got another six of them ordered and coming. Uh, hopefully, they should be here soon. Now, when you install this, you want to keep it as close to your machine as possible. The reason for that is these machines usually have what's called a soda recirculation loop, which means the machine makes the soda water, then sends it up to this head for dispensing, but then sucks it back to the machine in a loop to, get it, to keep it cold and carbonated. This won't have that, because that machine doesn't have that. So what, you, what, you, what we're going to do is tap directly into the soda line. So we're going to want to keep it as close to the machine as possible. Now, coming out the bottom, you there's a whole heap of lines. Six of them are fairly long. They are what goes to your syrup pumps. And each of them have written on it what they are. For example, pink grapefruit matches to pink grapefruit. They're also numbered one through six, with one being the orange juice and six being the pink grapefruit. They all just have to hook up directly to the corresponding syrup pumps, which are also marked. So they just clamped off. We'll go into that more detail on the syrup pump line. The next thing is your power point. This is a power plug. This is what one came with it. Now that's not the original one for this machine. That one is of a beer system. It is 18 volt where it's supposed to be 12 volt and it's not in great condition, but it works. So if you want to replace it, that's completely up to you. It basically is just attached by these bib connectors here. BIB connectors, or BB connectors. Uh, it's 12 volt, so I wouldn't even worry about getting an electrician. You could duck, duck down to JCAR and any 12 volt uh, point will be fine. But as I said, this one's working, so you don't really have to. Now, the important ones, the water line and the soda water line. Now, coming out of your red Coke machine is a soda water line and a water line. These are the ones you need to get as close to the machine as possible. I've also included some insulation. You want to insulate the line. Basically, you want to get that as close as possible and insulated as well as possible to keep the cold in. Cold soda water is fizzy soda water. As soon as soda water gets warm, it goes flat on you. So we want to keep that as short and as tight as possible. And that's really all there is to this head part. So cut a hole in the counter as close to the machine as possible, stick it through the bottom, attach it to the counter through these holes, run all these cords through through the bottom to the underneath, and you're pretty much done. Um, these are preset, but we've preset them a couple of times now. They're not staying preset. The one we're having the most issue with is, ooh, I believe it's the orange fizz one. For some reason, it just keeps coming loose so we may end up having to replace the head on it if it keeps doing it but I can talk you through adjusting it over the phone with a flathead screwdriver it's fairly simple if it's not if it's putting too much syrup in when uh, you get it at your end and that's pretty much it for the head